Divine Souls was a 3D action RPG that was developed by Game Pricks and published by Outspark. It went into open beta on December 14th of 2011. It took a realistic approach to its graphic style as opposed to the other Outspark games that tended to be anime inspired. The combat system was skill shot and combo oriented. It included short flashy cutscenes for some of the moves and every playable character also had a get up attack. The closed beta started with three gender lock classes, the male fighter, who used his fist and a large mechanical arm that reminded me of Hellboy, the female slasher, who wielded a chainsword and had numerous air combos, the female mage, whose weapon was a staff called the Magic Cannon that gave her the ability to use AoE attacks, and later came the fourth class, a male priest that could heal himself and team members and carried a death scythe. When you start the game, you kill various small creatures until you get up to the city, but quests after that bring you to an instance-based map. Each instant had a level requirement and gave you the choice of three difficulties, easy, medium, and hard. There were also various other settings pertaining to the loot and parties. Along with instances, you also had the choice of running dungeons, engaging in boss battles, or battling in the arena-based PvP. And just to clear the air right away, I wasn't able to play this game well. Not because the game demanded too much skill from me, but because the game demanded too much from my PC. Even on low settings, I got well below 30 FPS, because at the time my computer was at best mediocre. But the thing is, is that no one got to play this game for long, because it was announced that on August 30th of 2011, just 8 months out of open beta, Divine Souls would be temporarily shut down for patches and bug fixes. See, apparently this game had more bugs than Looney Tunes, and it would supposedly take months and months to fix. But it is worth noting that Outspark did pull through with a 20 to 50% Spark Cash refund for anyone that bought items in the cash shop. Now here's the kicker though, there was a second letter after this on August 24th stating that Divine Souls would now be shutting down on European servers 5 days early on August 25th. Now that's how you kick someone when they're down. See, this is the part of the video where I go over what went wrong, and who's to blame, and how it could have been fixed, but as some of you may know, this isn't actually the end of Divine Souls. Nope, it was shut down and then relaunched, back from the dead, so let's take it from the top. Divine Souls was a 3D action RPG that was developed by Game Pricks and published by MMO.TM. It was re-re-released in August of 2013, for around two months. But MMO.TM sent out a short email saying that they would be shutting down Divine Souls and giving it back to Game Pricks, like a kid pushing away a plate of vegetables. No refunds were given out that I know of, and everyone was let down, yet again. But that's not the end. This game did what few others could even imagine doing. It was shut down not once, but twice, yet it was still able to rise from the ashes. So let's take it from the top one more time. Divine Souls was a 3D action RPG, it was developed by Game Pricks and published by Suba Games, then re-re-released on their website in the winter of 2014, and on August 14th it was also put on Steam. Apparently they fixed a bulk of the bugs and they added a new MOBA style PvP battleground, because why not? And guess what, you controller-wielding combo-counting motherfuckers? Its servers are still up. Yeah, you heard me right. You can still download it, and I hope you do, because as of December 17th of 2017, this game boasts an incredible 1.7 players monthly. Sometimes there's even two players on the same server at the same time. See, this is a game that just refuses to die. It went from this graphically intense hype machine to this outdated, unpolished relic that people didn't even want to look at. It's sad because I was hyped for this game. Its servers crashed on the first day of closed beta testing, and I was sad I didn't get to enjoy it back in 2011 when it looked amazing to me. But this game is way past its prime, and even if the bugs were fixed, and even if the combat turned out to be flashy and engaging, it's just too late for this game to recover now. Oh, yes, you can say it's still alive, but it's terminally ill and on life support. But if you were there for the hype and you saw the side banner advertisements, or if you're one of the six people that still play this game, then Divine Souls is a game you might remember. Feel free to share your stories of Divine Souls in the comments section, I would love to read them. I want to know what it felt like playing this game consistently. And if you enjoy me talking about various games and everything to do with them, please subscribe to my channel. Let me say that again please subscribe to my channel. And on top of that, don't be afraid to check out my other videos. I kinda work hard on these things.